The topic of discussion will be congenital hypothyroidism. The word congenital means being present from birth. Uh, in the US and in very many Western countries, there's something called as newborn screening. So when the child is born, a drop of blood is sent, uh, sent over for investigation, investigating multiple diseases. And one of the diseases you get screened for is for thyroid. And the idea behind that is, if thyroid disease is found very early in life, treating them appropriately within the first couple of weeks helps the child to develop normal neurological and mental status. Um, the average incidence of congenital hypothyroidism is about one for every 4,500 li uh, live birth, which means every big hospital in the region would have about one or two patients per, e uh, per year. That will be the incidence. Okay, when you talk about congenital hypothyroidism, you have um, the thyroid gland which is present in the neck. In children who are born with congenital hypothyroidism, either the gland is not present or it is not functioning for whatever the reason is. So when they investigate, what they do is they take a sample of blood to look for TSH. TSH is a hormone which is secreted from the pituitary gland. It's called thyroid stimulating hormone. The role of thyroid stimulating hormone is to act upon the thyroid gland to make thyroid hormone. What happens in this condition, since the thyroid gland is not there or it is not functioning properly, the brain is functioning properly and keeps sending signals to the thyroid gland. So the TSH comes from the brain and it keeps stimulating the thyroid gland. However, since the thyroid gland is not there or it's not active, it doesn't produce any thyroid hormone. So this level will keep increasing. So in the newborn screening, you will find the TSH level to be very increased. Okay, so what happens is the newborn screening department for each state will contact the regional um, congenital hypothyroidism specialist, which is usually the pediatric endocrinologist, and the children are started on medication as soon as the diagnosis is made. In many situations, the diagnosis is made within the first seven days of life and then the children are started on thyroid medication. Unfortunately, thyroid medication is not available as a solution. It's always a tablet. So we have to crush the tablet and add with a little bit of a milk or um, apple jelly or something like that in order for the child to have it. The most important step is to be able to give the child the thyroid pill every single day. So new, newborn period, you don't do apple jelly or anything, you usually use mother's milk or bottled milk, but you want to take very little amount of milk and crush the um, pill and give it once a day. If the child throws up within the first 30 minutes, it means the child may not have gotten the medication and we have to do it again. The pediatric endocrinologist will do a series of blood tests starting um, from the time the diagnosis is made. Initially, it could be very frequent. It could be within a week or within two weeks. And, and as the child grows up, the interval between the number of times the child is having blood test will decrease. The doses will be ad adjusted based on the need for each child. So the key thing to remember, the child will not have a thyroid gland or the thyroid gland will not be functioning. The replacement is the thyroid hormone. It is very simple to replace the thyroid hormone. It has very little side effects. And if done properly and followed through with the physician properly, the child will live a very, very normal life uh, without any problems as related to thyroid or neurocognitive development. Thank you.